All right, so today I've got this dish drying rack from Amazon. This is a over the sink product and it has, looks like it has two levels, one right here and then another right there. And then you can do your cutting boards and then you can hang stuff on the side as well. This is a, apparently a stainless steel construction and I did get the white version. Uh, there was a black version, a white version, and then a, a like metal stainless steel look that was like double the price. So that premium option basically was like the color of the sink in the picture, but yeah, it was, it looked nice, but it was really expensive. Well, there's not much else to say about this product. Uh, the branding uh, looks like it's Husden. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but there's the branding. And I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this and show it in its uh, state where it's supposed to be, and just so you can get an idea. All right, so before we put this over the sink, uh, it, it should be fully assembled already, so this right here is the dish rack piece, a bowl rack right here, the fruit and vegetable basket apparently for this piece right here. Detergent and soaps, that bottom one. Chopping boards are supposed to go on that piece right there. Got a knife holder. Cup holder is going to come in real handy and it just attaches to that other piece like so. The cutlery holder on the side right there also attached. We got eight J hooks, or it just says hooks on here, but I would call them J hooks. Uh, I have four on the top there, and then four on the bottom. Uh, it does also have the suction cups on the bottom, so one right there, one on the back, and then same thing with the other side, or two on each side for suction cups. Uh, there are these things called balance buckles. I have no clue what the function of them are. They kind of just look like this and they have a hole right there, uh, but there's not enough, uh, if a screw is supposed to go in there, there's not enough screws to do whatever you're supposed to do with that, but apparently they kind of just hang around there. I might take them off, but if they get annoying, but I guess I'm using them as separators so that these hooks don't come into contact. Uh, these aren't stated in the manual, but there's three of these smaller J hooks and there's no mention of them, but I guess I will use them. All right, so here is the drying rack fully set up. So I've already put some knives, plates, a bowl, a dish soap and stuff like that, uh, cups on there. And yeah, that's pretty much a finished product. So I had to actually loosen up the two screws on the bottom and the two screws on the top because this was too wide. Uh, it is adjustable, so it is adjustable, so just make sure you read the measurements and all that on the product and from the minimum to the maximum length and all that. But yeah, it fits pretty good like this. That's how I'm going to keep it. And yeah, and I will probably uh, rearrange these racks and everything over time because uh, this is how it showed in the manual and I just wanted to uh, build it the way it, it showed on the manual. But obviously you can, uh, it's a personal preference with uh, the positioning and all that, or you don't even have to use all of these. You can remove some and just store them for another time. But yeah, this is the way it turned out. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this and it's gonna make things a lot easier and it's gonna uh, keep things neat and organized. So that will pretty much do it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this uh, drying rack was pretty much like 50 bucks uh, and I think that's a pretty justified price for all this that you get and yeah so that'll do it for the video guys uh, I will have this product linked in the description below if you want to get this exact one okay so in the description below I will have a link to the product below if you want to check it out and I will also have my SoundCloud linked down there if you want to check out some of my music uh, beats that I rap over basically it's nothing crazy but yeah that'll be in the description below and thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video.